Hello, everyone. Let's see if more people are joining. I'm missing too many of you. Thank you, Harley. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Don't let me be the only person who's hyper. Let's yeah, let's start. How are all of you doing? Hello. Hello. What happened today? Where is everyone? <laughs> like it, we have a super fun contest today. Okay, one more person's joining. <laughs> okay, so show me how you are feeling with some sort of reaction. Are you feeling festive? Are you feeling in love? <laughs> are you feeling like, are you crying <coughs> for some reason? <laughs> hello, oh, hello, everyone. So shall we start? Okay, I'm very happy to see so many faces. <laughs> Nelo, I don't know if, are you in the darkness? I can only see like two points of light. I don't know if those are your glasses. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. I think something happened to my laptop. The camera is not working at all. It just shows darkness when I started on. It showed darkness and I mean, it's I only can... 6 p.m. there, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I only... can only see your glasses. <laughs> but then it is like raining pretty hard. So the clouds are very gray. Maybe, maybe that is why, but I can literally only see the reflection on your glasses, which makes you look kind of like the invisible man. <laughs> so that, that is great. I am uh, really happy to see so many superheroes in this room today. <laughs> so I would like to start with a question for all of you uh, right now. And if you would like, oh, do you have a question, Ari? I would like to announce something. Um, these past two weeks uh, were very fucking difficult for me. Um, I've been keeping a friend at my place who has been suffering under domestic violence from his mother. And I've kept him here for two weeks now and he's now returned home. And I just wanted to let you all know that because I wasn't ready come up with that earlier that's why i didn't attend any of the mentor meetings or didn't do regards so uh, school of future stuff and i'm actually this close before resigning actually because next week will be even fucking harder because my parents trial will be on next wednesday and this will basically decide our family's future and i have not yet found a way to deal with that and I cannot find the time or the resources or the patience to invest myself in other projects. So if I do end up resigning from School of Future, I will just want to let everyone know that I apologize to my group that I wasn't there for you when you needed me. And I apologize to you as well, Sylvia, that I wasn't there when I should have been. I didn't do the tasks that I should have done. Um, right now, as you probably hear in the background, it's music. Um, it's my mother. Partying with another friend of her um, about a possible, much more of a tragedy for me, my father, uh, that this trial is not in our favor. And I will probably leave this meeting as well. I just wanted to let you know. Um, I want to be alone right now. I will seek professional help, and I don't know, I will probably sign up for another School of Future cohort in the future. 
because this is this has not been easy for me um, and I apologize for my group and everything so I'm, I'm sorry you know, what, I wanted, what I wanted to say you don't have to be sorry at all thank you very much for opening up to all of us I highly appreciate how brave you are being right now to let us know everything that you're going through right now it takes a lot of courage so please tell that to yourself that you're being very brave uh, it's yes. perfectly understandable that you want to be alone right now uh, i'm not gonna force you to, to stay here i will love you for you to continue i've told you many times i really trust in your skills and your capabilities should you want to have a conversation let me know privately uh, we can try to find a solution that works for everyone. And I do not think that you have to be sorry about anything. Life happens. Uh, personally, I, I mean, I think that I speak for everyone when I say this, that no one here is angry at you. As, as I said, life happens. Uh, to me, my first priority is that you are okay. And if you are right now unable to fulfill the assignments that you have here at SOF, that's life. Just make sure that you take care of yourself and that you are okay and safe physically and mentally. And I have to underline that I really admire you for helping out a friend who's in need right now. Yes. It's a really cool job. We are very proud of you. Uh, it has taken a toll on me as well. Um, it's, I mean, it, 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 it's the, the backstory of all that I won't explain right now, but the point is that um, I had that guy uh, sleep in the guest room for the past two weeks and I, just, I, I noticed how broken his family was and I look back on my family and now that he's gone, I just started to reflect on all the things that's happening and it's kind of coming up to me now. And... I, I don't know. It's, it's difficult for me to find things to say uh, accurately, to, to tell you how I feel accurately. And I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm really not okay. And I hope we can find some solution for that. You will. Don't worry. That. It's it's really, uh, yeah. really brave of you that you're admitting that you're not okay. That step is really difficult. Not everyone is brave or uh, know themselves well enough or um, is selfless enough to admit that they're not okay. So please uh, give yourself praise for that. And I know that this is what everyone oh, says. I know that what I am about to say is what everyone says, but there is a way out of this problem. You'll find it. And I don't know what being okay means, but everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna get better, okay? Let me we'll know, send, send me a message. Send um, me a message if you would like to, to have a chat privately later on in the week. I will. I will, I will let you know. Thank you. But until then, let's go on with the contest, shall we? Do you, if you want to stay, uh, you're more than welcome to stay. If you need to be on your own, uh, that is also fine. Whatever is going to be better for you right now. I think I owe, I, I owe it to my team that I at least show me, uh, that at least I show myself today. So I'm gonna work if with I, them too. If at any given point you're not feeling okay, uh, it is perfectly fine. And well, I'm, I'm speaking for your group here, but I'm pretty sure they'll agree that it's perfectly fine that you remove yourself from the contest and you're excused for that. Life happens. Okay, yes. so completely up to you, whatever you feel comfortable. To me, my number one priority is that you're feeling well, comfortable and in a safe space, both physically and mentally. Thank you very much for that, Sylvia. It means a lot. I appreciate that. De nada, cariño, cuando quieras. 
So, uh, right. What can I say after that? That okay. Let's let's completely change that. Let's make a dance all together. <laughs> don't, don't let me be the only one dancing here. Come on, I'm supposed to be the adult in the room, and I am not behaving as such. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> So slightly moving on, uh, the first question that I wanted to ask to all of you is what is something uh, about your problem area or the niche within your problem that you didn't know two, three years ago or even maybe yesterday, <laughs> something you did not know about the problem, about the problem that you chose in the past and uh, that you do now know or even perhaps something that you've discovered you were wrong about. Whomever feels like answering, unmute yourselves and go for it. Um, <clears throat> Hello, I mean, go ahead. Well, I uh, discovered that I, like, I thought like certain news channels say they're unbiased. And I learned that just that a news channel says they're unbiased doesn't actually mean that they are. <laughs> that is a very important uh, discovery. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you know, but before I became a teacher, I was a journalist myself. Uh, the first thing that they teach you on day one at uh, journalist school, <laughs> is one, objectivity does not exist. <laughs> Two, a bad, new, a bad piece of news is a good piece of news. And three, the news is not that a dog bites a child. The news is that a child bites a dog. Now, whatever that wants to mean for, <laughs> wants to mean for all of you. <laughs> but yes, it is absolutely impossible and I am very happy that you're mentioning that it's absolutely impossible that, um, that a person, that a group of people that compose a, a news channel is completely unbiased. And that is precisely the topic of today's contest, assumptions. <laughs> You've been learning about that <laughs> this week. So perfect, perfect comment. Um, would anyone else like to share what have you uh, learned about your problem that you did not know before or something you discovered you were wrong about? Are you raising your hand? Uh, just go mute yourself. <laughs> um, I would like to add on Harley's comment. Um, I've discovered that uh, American news channels, specifically CNN and Fox News, like the big, the two big counter, counter polar um, sides of uh, American journalism are uh, restyling their ways of, of um, telling news since for the past like 50 years in order to make news look more like a moderated show for like a boxing fight or a football show. And so in order to, uh, they do that in order to gain more viewers and this completely psychological to make a, a victim and uh, a right side um, for the viewer to um, attack on and, uh, and, and build up on news. But however, um, CNN and Fox News mostly bases their information upon debates. Well, if you look it up, uh, I think the debates channel runs for over six hours per day. And over that, you cannot really gain information. It is, it is, it is an expert opinion that is that is out of the question i've researched almost ungodly amounts of journalists jesus <laughs> and uh, i found that they're all uh, well educated in their field however they are being taught by company policy to make it look like a problem. Mm -hmm. really great comments i would like to add uh, that if you see any headline that contains adjectives do not trust that source of information. Like for example, um, the president of this country did this. 
is an okay enough uh, headline. <laughs> More often than not, choosing to inform on that topic and not another one is also biased. However, if you read a headline that says, our fantastic president decided on this awesome, it's on the adjectives that you can find if a source of information is biased or not. Uh, or at least it's, it's a good way to start. That's really great. And I love how you were building on each other. Would anyone else like to share uh, something that you were wrong about or something that you discovered about your problem area? Uh, sorry, Sylvia, could I just uh, say something really? So it's, um, it's not about um, the topic. Um, sure, everything just seems to be going wrong today. Um, the substation just dropped, so there's no um, power, and um, there was just a death in the family this morning, so it's, things have just been tough. I can, but I explain the rest to you on um, the score. Mm -hmm. um, and would it be possible, I, I really hate missing out on, on anything, but would it be possible to, like, miss this um, call today and then watch the recordings? I mean, that is always a possibility. Um, it's not what we suggest. It's not that we want you to think that, oh, I cannot make it so, eh, whatever, I'll watch the recording. But we do understand. And we are human beings at the end of the day, and we are very nice people. So we understand that life happens. So if you cannot make it for a proper reason, no, oh, I want to, you know, stay in the coach having an app, then that no. But if you are truly having a bad day and it's just not the moment, by all means, again, keep yourself safe mentally and physically. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anytime. Right, uh, we need to start moving a little bit faster. So I really like that most of you seem to be discovering areas uh, or uh, new questions within your areas that you've never wondered about before. And what I would like to do is, well, I'm going to learn <laughs> right now. This is <laughs> me learning how to divide you into groups because I've never done this before. <laughs> This is going to be fine. And I'm going to send you in groups of three. Uh, yes. Uh, sign in. Let's see if it works. So <laughs> this should create. Yes, perfect. Hey, I made it. In a second, you're going to go to a room with one, two, two more people. And what I would like you to discuss is what is one thing that people usually assume about you that is actually not true? And after hearing what everyone in the room says, create a story in where those two, three things that people assume about you that are not true, combined, create a story that ends really badly. <laughs> so for example, if people look at you and they assume this, then what can happen? What can go wrong? What could be the sequence of events that will make, I don't know, the, the world to implosion? It's because of that assumption. <laughs> Maybe don't go as far as that, but what can go wrong because of that? Any question? Let's see if this works. Tara, are you there?
Well, hello. <laughs> People are, hey, look at your beautiful face. <laughs> so much better. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to assign you to a room. Thank you. Right, take go. Hello.
Welcome back. How did it go? It went well. We managed to establish a story that included all of our assumptions, which was good. So yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing it. <laughs> Does the world impersonate at the end? Um, I'm somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for everyone to be back Sylvia um, next time next time tell us we have like five minutes to do this <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good point thank you very much <laughs> I'll do my best to communicate better than the time you have <laughs> oh that was panic did <laughs> Did all of you have enough time to at least compose uh, a story that includes all of the assumptions? I would love to. Harley, welcome back. <laughs> you literally emerged. <laughs> so, which group would like to share their story? Okay, Mara, go uh, for it. Well, and then, so, and then Efan. <laughs> so we uh, panicked a bit, so it's just in the head right now um <laughs> but yeah so a uh, it's it's set in school the story so it's a very open extroverted person with a good friend group and but people start to make assumptions because the person is always so friendly always extroverted and um but there are things going on in this person's life so then the person starts back to back off behave more robotic and then even more assumptions are being made about them being emotionless. So um, they start to push away even further and shut off, lose interest in their passions and just like stumble down the stairs of bad mental health. So, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know that with a few more minutes, your story will be a lot more developed, but I think that you did a good job at painting a character in a way that we can all understand. I'm pretty sure that most of us know someone who has been through that kind of experience, so it feels very real. Another team would love to hear your stories. Um, I'll, I'll go. So um, this, is, uh, this is Guy, and then he's in a festival, yeah. And he's just walking. He's just walking around the festival, and then um, I don't know. He looks pretty extroverted and social. So then he gets invited on on stage to sing, uh, and he's not like he's not that confident. So he's on stage, and then he, like the microphone's in his mouth, and he's about to start singing, and he's like really panicking. And then someone from the crowd looks at him, and then, and then this person is like a someone who employs people and like, ah, oh, he, he looks pretty clever him. So then he said, hey, stop, stop. I'm going to offer you a job. So then he gets a job as a, you know, a nuclear engineer. And then um, he's pretty bad at his job because he's not that clever. Uh, and then people, uh, people think he's just being mean and just trying to make the business look bad. But he's just bad at the job because he's not clever. That's, that's all we got. We, we didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, time is always a problem in general, in life, <laughs> like at least for me, I never had enough time for everything. <laughs> but yeah, I can also uh, relate to that. I've known a lot of people who are just not that necessarily good at their jobs, <laughs> because someone assumed that they were going to be good at them. Fantastic, very real. Another team, please. Let me hang in here. If you did not finish it, it's fine. Um, I can tell our team story. I guess we didn't really choose who was going to say it, but um, we have the story of like a girl um, who, you know, she has like a lot of like opinions and stuff on global issues, but she doesn't share them a lot. So people like assume that she doesn't really have any, and they just kind of assume that she's mean and that she doesn't. Like they don't really like, talk to her because they just make assumptions that like she's mean and that she's not very social. So um, 
I think we like decided that like they were in science class, I believe. And they were like faced with a problem and you know, no one was, and she knew the solution, but no one was asking her what was happening. So it all ended up going haywire. And you know, there was like a mini explosion in their science room that they could have avoided if they just not assumed that she didn't know what she was talking about. If they just, if they hadn't assumed she was mean, they would have avoided that rather unfortunate outcome. So. I, love, I love how literal you took my advice to end the story with an implosion. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was a metaphor, but I love that you implemented it. <laughs> so yeah, that was our story. Great, I believe that there is one more story. Is that our group? Perhaps, do you have a story we have not yet heard? Yes. Go for uh, it. When I, when I got there, I didn't know much about the topic. So when we had to start the story, we reached the point of a person that is very honest and straightforward. When So if a person was to ask him a question, he'd be honest and straightforward about it wouldn't actually say it in such a way that he's like sugarcoating it so a person could get hurt and they would soon assume that he is mean so then they wouldn't ask him questions about anything which would then lead to him being excluded from any events or any social talkings because he's honest straightforward but people assume he's mean so then that could lead to him telling lies and closing off and keeping to himself and from going from being this honest straightforward person to this unhonest no self-confidence person that is very broken what i like the most uh, about all of your stories is how real they all sound uh, they they all sound as things that we see already on our regular daily basis. And this is something very important because as entrepreneurs, we are so passionate about solving our problem that we forget that it's absolutely impossible that we are not biased in one way or another, especially if we have a very strong opinion on our niche, on our area of problem. So <clears throat> it is very important that we figure out how are we biased and how can we find out more assumptions that we are making? Because in a lot of occasions, we are not even aware of that. So how can we find that awareness? What are we assuming? And how can we find out what else are we biased about? Is something that we are gonna work on in the next couple of activities. <laughs> so I would like to ask you all to get a piece of paper and a pen or uh, write on your phone or type on your laptop, whatever you prefer. I have four questions. And for each question, I'm going to give you two minutes. So this is the amount of time you have, two minutes <laughs> to answer each question. <laughs> Remember, you are all going to be writing your own opinion. And as opinions, they will be full of assumptions. We will be working on that on the following activity. Okay, are you ready? Do you have somewhere to write? Great. So the first question is thinking about your problem area. Okay, thinking about your problem area. What is uh, causing that problem? What causes the problem the most? What causes the problem the most? That's our own problem, is it? Our own like yes, idea? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. So in your case, it's directly like uh, media being biased and et cetera, et cetera. I'm sorry, what was the question again? I didn't quite get it. Think about your problem area. 
and identify what causes the problem the most. So what is the biggest reason why that problem exists? Okay. Okay, this is a whole thing. Are you having a good meal, Jamie? <laughs> Made some tea. Oh, oh I'm not muted. Oh, God. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> right, five more seconds. <laughs> Okay, whatever you wrote is perfect. <laughs> For a second, I was afraid that that was like me drinking coffee that <laughs> you cannot hear. <laughs> okay. So the second question is, what do people think of the problem? What do people think of the problem? Ten seconds. Okay, whatever you wrote is perfect. The third question is what could help fix the problem? In your opinion, what could help fix the problem?
10 seconds. And the last question of this part, the last question is, what is something about the history of your problem that you want to know more about? What is something of the history of your problem that you want to know more about? Ten more seconds. Okay, remember there are not right or wrong quest, uh, answers. <laughs> there are not right or wrong answers and whatever you wrote is perfect. That explains the spot where you're at right now on your investigation about your problem area. And the thing is that we are now going to help each other investigate a little bit more about what questions should we be asking ourselves to identify what are our assumptions, what areas don't we know uh, enough about yet, what are other points of view without uh, within <laughs> within our problem area that we have not yet considered and that are still very important for the designing of, of our project, of our product, or whatever you would like to develop. I am going to ask you to quickly go to Discord and please confirm that uh, on the bottom side of your 15.3 uh, area, you suddenly see a brand new area called Spicy Questions. Yes, it confused me. <laughs> Well, that confusion is about to be solved. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome that all of the things that confuse us in life had a solution coming in like five seconds? Okay, can you all see that area? Good. So you will see on the bottom that there are six. <laughs> this is six in China. I keep on doing that. Um, <laughs> like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not lying. So um, there are six channels, six voice channels. One is called education. Second is personal development, mental health. Third, equality, gender, race, LGBTQ, etc. Fourth, politics, homelessness, poverty. Five, climate change. And the last one is products, apps. I know that some of you are still wondering, should I go try to fix 
one area of this problem or this other. I am not yet fully um, sure of what do I want to do. Some of you already have a product in mind or an app in mind that you want to develop, even when it is within an area. So I'm going to ask all of you to join one of these six channels. Okay. And for 10 minutes, talk with the other people within the call about everything that you wrote on your uh, notebook right now. So what is causing the problem, what people think about the problem, what could fix the problem, and what is something about the history of this problem that you need to know. Share with each other and update all of your answers. See if you find more areas that you should investigate, okay? Is everyone clear about where are you supposed to go now? Okay, good. <laughs> so see you there, you have 10 minutes.
three more minutes. Try to come out with as many questions as you can. Three more minutes. One more minute, only one more minute. All right, time's over. <laughs> time's over. <laughs> Come back to Zoom. I am about to announce what is the last thing I want you to do today. For School of Future, of course. Then later on, you continue with your day and you do whatever. <laughs> if, okay, uh, so be that you are here somehow. <laughs> I see people who are still talking to someone else. Yay! <laughs> All right, you will have noticed that on top of those voice channels, there are a lot of other channels with everyone's names, right? Can you all see them? Okay, so what I want you to do is go to the channel with your name and state what is the problem that you are fixing. Make a problem statement. Like this is a problem and I want to solve it because this and this, and I'm planning to solve it in this way. Uh, also, write all of the questions that you would like to uh, find an answer to or that you would like to have help solving, all right? And the instruction is that for the next 30 minutes, okay, the next 30 minutes, go crazy on everyone's channels, read 
everyone's problem statements, read all of the questions that they have, and feel free to share questions, comments, thoughts that you have about the problem, any prior experience that you might have, resources, YouTube videos, articles, um, make a video of yourself explaining stuff. Uh, and also, what do you think they are assuming? Or perhaps keywords that they could be researching, um, specific research questions, survey questions, anything that could be useful for that person. That's what I want you all to do for the next 30 minutes. So step one, go to your own channel and write your problem statement and the questions you would like to find an answer for. Two, go crazy for the next 30 minutes <laughs> and help as many people as you can. I will in a second post suggestions for comments or questions that you can give each other on the Discord general chat. And three, in exactly 30 minutes, in exactly 30 minutes, send me a private message saying which comment or suggestion or article or whatever was the most helpful to you. Like for example, uh, this person said uh, this comment or suggested that I do this and that was the most helpful uh, thing that someone told me today. Then that is how you vote <laughs> for a team today. <laughs> this person gave me a great resource. You can prove that whichever team that person belongs to gets a point. If two people say this person was super helpful, the, the team gets two points, okay? So encourage all of your team members to give fantastic feedback to each other and you will win this contest. Any question? We only have half an hour for that. Uh, well, I mean, feel free to write for as much as you want, but I will count the uh, votes in 30 minutes time. But by all means, if you want to help each other for 27 hours in a row or 27 <laughs> years, I mean, that's the change I want to see in the world, people helping each other because they want to, so go for it. Yes. <laughs> but in, thir in 30 minutes, give me a vote, which was so far the most helpful comment that you received, okay? Wow. Okay, yeah. So I am going to end this Zoom call here. In 30 minutes, I will send an announcement on Discord, like, uh, hi, everyone, hashtag everyone. <laughs> send me your votes, OK? And then we will announce which team is the winner. Any more questions? Yeah, I think doing helping someone for th 27 hours in a row isn't for helping them. It's for torturing yourself, <laughs> just to put that out there. Well, depends. If you think about how many hours in a row do doctors work when they are on a, on a shift, then... <laughs> They're just trying to get paid. I, well, yeah, I mean, uh, you, will get a, you will give yourself a job after you figure out how to solve your problem. So, eh, same, same, but different. So, <laughs> any more questions that you may have? I'm going to uh, copy-paste the... Da, 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 da. So, we only get one vote, do we? Yes. Only one vote. Okay. I have already uh, pasted the things that you could be commenting on on the niche areas. Just clarify, you can't vote for anyone on your own team, right? Just in, this make occasion, that clear. in this occasion, you can, but you need to specify this was the comment that helped me the most. Okay. So vote for your own team only if they truly gave you super cool advice. Okay. <laughs> Five more seconds for questions. Okay, guys, love you all. Go help each other for as much time as you want, but in 30 minutes, <laughs> give me your vote. I'll see you soon.